everyone, Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters. So in this layout, I decided to do something a little bit different for me with the Punchinella, I think that's how you say it, this stuff here that I'm working with. Um, I decided I had this like dream or thought in my sleep that I wanted to try and make it into a pinwheel. So I tried scoring it but it didn't really work, it wouldn't really score. So I'm just hand folding it and I'm just sort of guessing, just trying to make them as equal and as even as I can. It is certainly not 100% perfect, but it's quite easy to fold because obviously there's lots of holes in it. So it's quite easy just to fold the few little um, sections that there are. And I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to make it even as I fold it backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, as you do accordion style for a pinwheel. And I'm really pleasantly surprised with how it turns out. There, there are a few hurdles, which I will share with you along the way. But in general, it works out quite well, uh, which is cool. Kind of how, how I imagined. It, it pretty much, this, this layout pretty much goes how I'd imagined, how I'd planned. There's a few thing, curly bits and pieces that um, surprise me along the way. But I think I managed to pull it all together. So... Just getting to the end here of this accordion, and once I've done that, I then uh, I'm just giving it a big squeeze to make sure it's really tightly um, folded together. And now I'm going to form the pinwheel shape again. I just did, gave it a big squeeze, and now I'm spreading it back out to make it actually work. And so I realize I can pinwheel it. Sorry, just fixing up the um, the bends. I can pinwheel it this way with the thick edge along the edge or I can pinwheel it this way and sort of have the rough cut edge along the edge and I'm not 100% sure which one of these I like better they both look really cool um, so I will make a decision later but at the moment I'm just going to leave that be and move on to the next part because I really can't decide which way I like the best so I get my white cardstock that I'm going to be starting with and I get the four photos I'm going to be using. I'm just putting them in the correct order or what I think is approximately the correct order and I know I'm going to use that pinwheel and I'm going to make a few other pinwheels. So I'm cutting out the Vicky Booten Field Notes collection. I don't have a huge amount of the um, coloured paper yet, the pattern paper left, not yet, left. I've used a lot of it um, but I'm just going to make a few other pinwheels with the pattern paper that I do have and in a few varying sizes not hugely different sizes but a little bit different now I don't have uh, a scoring board so I'm just scoring this with my through the indents through the lines that are in my um, Fiskars trimmer and I'm just using the end of a biro cap like so the biro cap I'm just using that to create the score marks because it's plastic so it doesn't tear a hole through the paper and um, it just makes life a little bit easier when I'm doing the accordion. Look how quick that is. I mean obviously this is on fast forward but still look how quick that is. It's so much easier if you've done the score lines than trying to do it by hand. Uh, so I only do one pinwheel with you on film because um, I'm sure a lot of you understand how to do that or could actually look up Oh, I'm looking to see how that would look together, but no, I don't like it. Or actually look up a tutorial on how to make pinwheels if you so desire. But basically, you just accordion fold back and forth. You join the two ends together. Try and have them so they meet um, on the wrong side, if that makes sense, because you don't want to have like the seam or really obvious join mark or a really obvious seam showing on the front of your pinwheel. You want it to look as seamless as possible. So I'm just joining my ends together now. And this pinwheel is quite a decent size, which is kind of cool. I really like that bright yellow. So I think it's kind of cool to have a nice, bright, decent size. Because you can see my little man's painting over in his pictures. And his aunt smock is quite bright colours as well. Not yellow, red, blue and green, but that's okay. Um, there wasn't really any red in this layout so uh, in these pattern papers so I went with yellow instead so I noticed when I was pulling out the pattern paper that I already had three um, three by four colored squares cut 
So I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll just back my photos with those squares. And I just obviously cut a fourth one to do my four photos. And then I realized I needed centers for all the pinwheels. And I thought, well, I won't cut into new paper. I'll just do two birds with one stone and take a circle out of the center of those um, mat mattings because you can't see it because it's going to be covered with the photo. So I thought I was very clever. Um, my heat gun is currently warming up heating up because I'm going to put down these pinwheels or stick together these pinwheels using my heat gun. So at the moment, I'm just working out which colored circle I want on which um, pinwheel, just to sort of spread the colors out a little bit, make it um, not too matchy matchy. And I, you know, I want to have complementary colors, but sorry, I want to have complementary colors, but I also want to make sure that I'm spreading the colors around a little bit, if that makes sense. So just matching those up. Um, and so I find some colors just look better on things than others. So um, yeah, I'm just getting that ready. And I just realized, I don't know if you saw me do with my hand there, a round circle. I just realized having a think about the pinwheels, I actually don't want the photos to be square. I don't think that's gonna have the right look that I'm going for. I actually want the photos to be round. So I went off and rounded all of the back matting. I also rounded a white piece of matting as well because I'm going to mat the photos on that. And then I rounded the photo. So I was actually using a layered um, stamping up die and they have obviously lots and lots of circles, layered circles. So it was really quite easy to do that. I just picked one, two, three circles that uh, layer together and did the photo in the smallest one and then the mats, the two mats in the next two. So that made my life much easier. So I'm just gluing together my pinwheels now. So gluing a plain white circle on the back and a beautiful colored circle on the front. And I do that with all of my pinwheels. Now, when I get to the Punchinella one, that's when I run into a tiny bit of trouble, which I'm not surprised about it doesn't really want to stick too much or too well. Um, it is, you know, you know what that feels like. It is sort of a plastic. So trying to get the glue to stick to it was a little bit tricky. I do eventually manage to get the glue to stick on both sides of the circle, which is awesome. It sticks really, really well. But I am then having trouble with the join. I can't get the join to stick down. So in the end, I stick it as closely as I can and then I leave it and I will show you a solution I come up with for that join a little bit later on. So you can sort of see there that it's, it's pretty well joined. There's just a little bit of a gap close to little man's face on the blue circle. So I'm now just having a play with where I want all of these circles to go. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with the different sizes and the really bright colors. I'm looking at my choice of heading. Um, there's a few different ones that could work really well. One of a kind, collect moments. But in the end, I decide to go with Smile Big because um, he's just so tickled pink with the mess he's made and with his funny hands and he just thinks he's hilarious. So I decided that that would be the one to go for in this. And I think what helps is the reaction of his daddy, who does not like mess, was just made him even like think it was even funnier and laugh even harder because yes his daddy does not like mess and of course he was a big mess the table wasn't too bad but the actual concept of the activity was a big mess and oh gosh he just yeah daddy didn't cope very well with painting today so now I'm looking through the ephemera. I know I want some flowers on this and I know I want a few other bits and pieces, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what yet. So I'm just pulling out anything I think that might work, especially round elements. So I have a bit of a play with layering things underneath the pinwheels, especially that Punchinella one, cause it's so see-through, but I don't really like the look of that. I decide um, clusters is the way to go. So you're still layering, but not right under. Um, 
So I just have a fiddle with the little bits and pieces I've got. I want to spread the yellows out, obviously. I don't want to put those too close together. There's a lot of that sort of pinky red color. So again, I want to share that around. Um, I decided that some of the pinwheels need something on top, something to lift them, uh, which is looking really cool now. And I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. And um, looking at it now, again, it looks pretty good just the way it is. But at the time, <laughs> I was looking at it thinking it looks a bit white, a bit stark, a bit plain, a bit, you know, there's so many bright colors, but that white paper is really standing out. So I'm going to do just a little bit of mixed media, nothing too drastic. So I'm just pulling everything off and I'm just getting out my Heidi Swap Color Shine sprays in complementary colors of what is happening on the layout. So I've got the teal and I'm just giving that a little shake and I'm going to just simply spray that straight into the diagonal. Again, um, hindsight is a wonderful thing. If I was to do this again, I would probably actually um, spray it a little bit wider than what I have done. It's quite a really thin, narrow um, line of mixed media, which is really cool. And I, as I said, I really like it. And a lot of it gets um, covered up by what's happening, which is kind of nice with mixed media. But I actually would have liked to see it a little bit more. Anywho, um, so just splashing on the same colors in the same spots. So I've used the citron, the teal, and the navy. And you can see that there's quite a large blob of navy up in the top left. So I do just grab a, um, oh, that's my very handy, trying to make it dry quickly, hand flapping. I do grab a serviette and just dab up some of that excess. Now off screen, for about 20 seconds, I flapped this in the air and then decided I couldn't be bothered waiting any longer and I'm just using it as is. Now, I did not prep my paper at all, so it is definitely a little bit wet. Um, the navy especially color shine has sunk in a little bit more than the other colors, but because I'm putting so much on top of where the spray is, it's no big deal to me. Uh, it, the paper hasn't warped. It hasn't torn, it hasn't done anything. So I'm happy to just roll with the way it was. Now, I should have taken a photo when I took everything off because I'm trying to put everything back on the way I remembered it. And I pretty much have, but as always is the case when you then start sticking everything down and putting everything on, I almost run out of room for something. And in this case, I almost run out of room for my title, which is a little bit of a disaster. You've got to have room for your title. Now, obviously I could have put it somewhere else, but I wanted it there. I thought it looked really cool there. So I almost had a little mini disaster running out of room. Um, so I'm putting some foam on my photographs. I like to pop those up and I'm sticking the pinwheels down with my hot glue gun. I'm not 100% sure that they require the hot glue gun, but I figure the hot glue gun's probably gonna be slightly stronger than just my double-sided tape. And so I think because there's so much dimension to those um, pinwheels, I wanna make sure they're really stuck on. And um, I could use wet glue, but again, uh, as you can tell from not being able to wait for my Heidi Shine to dry or not getting my heat gun out to dry my Heidi Shine, I'm slightly impatient with this layout today. I just want to do it and I want to get it done. I've got a really small window of time when both my boys are asleep and I am determined to complete this whole layout in that time. Uh, so there, that is how I solved the issue of not being able to cover the gap in that Punchinella pinwheel. I stuck something on top of it. So sorry, I know that that's cheating and you might have been hoping for a real um, solution to that problem. Yeah, didn't really have one. Uh, I tried double-sided tape. I tried um, hot glue. Nothing really sealed it together properly. So I decided I would just cover it by putting that blue heart on there. Now those are the heart, the moth, the things that are mostly sticking off the pinwheel. I've just stuck down again using doubles, uh, using hot glue. Because it's such a small amount to adhere, 
um, you can't really, I'm really only gluing the part that's touching that center circle. I decided the hot glue again was my best option because I thought it might be the strongest option. So that's why I chose hot glue. So yep, just sticking everything down, off I go, off I go. And you can see I'm just in that bottom right cluster, but I will be working um, on my next cluster in a moment. Here we go now, last cluster. And this is, I'll, I'll pin this down and then this is when I realize that I haven't actually left enough space to fit my title the way I had originally planned. I do get it on and it's barely even different, but it's just a, one small little panic for a minute there when I thought I might have run out of space. Whoops. Uh, I decide I want, I don't actually want that moth on the pinwheel. I want him slightly off the pinwheel, so I'm going to stick him up with foam just so he's got a little bit of dimension as well. Because I thought he'd be better not looking exactly the same as the other moth. Um, so I am almost done with all my clusters there. And so you can see with that mixed media, it really has 90% being covered. You can only see a few bits and bobs sort of shining through underneath and in between where all the clusters and things are. So it definitely could have stayed white. It hasn't done a huge amount of difference to the layout. Uh, or I definitely could have gone a little bit wider and shown just that little bit more, especially where um, in the center line there where I've got the moth pinwheel clusters happening in the center near the um, blue and green photos. But I didn't. So I have now stuck on my smile big, and of course it looks the same as it was before, I know, but you can't fit the little smiley face where it originally was. So I'm going to put the little smiley face over to the other side. And oh, oh no, it doesn't matter. I was about to say, I just realized I put the, the dot of the eye in the wrong, on the wrong eye, but I didn't, there was a dot for both of them. So I now I'm having a look at my layout and I think but there's not quite enough black happening. That Punchinella um, pinwheel is really grabbing your eye, grabbing your attention, and it shouldn't be the highlight of um, the layout. It should just be an extra feature. Um, the Smile Big is definitely helping, but there needs to be a few more bits and bobs of black. So I pulled out some of the sort of, I don't know, the funny shapes that come on this thicker sheet, and there's quite a few of them and I decided to put those around. There was a few more hearts that I really would have loved to use, but I want to save those to go with the collect moments, which I know seems silly and it seems like I'm hoarding and I kind of am, but uh, I've got an idea for that. So I want to keep them there. And then a few of the other hearts were just too big. So I'm going to bring this up for a close up. And then I've also got some photos at the end to show you as well. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really cute. I really, when I first got this collection, I thought, oh, this is going to be so hard to use. It's so bright. Oh, goodness. I love it. I have loved every layout I've made using this collection, and I've actually found it super easy to use and put together. And, oh, I've just really enjoyed how fun it has been working with these super bright colors. So I've actually really, really loved this collection. So I hope you like this layout. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for another one coming up soon. Bye everyone.